shock. Unseen backstage drama between Harry and Meghan at ESP Y Awards with angry veterans on stage. Here's some unseen backstage drama involving Harry and Meghan at the ESP Y Awards, and it's causing quite a stir among veterans. The way Harry uses veterans and steals valor is bad enough, but Meghan's exploitation of murdered children and disabled vets for photo opportunities takes it to another level. It's a race to the bottom with these two. He only uses vets as props. Never has a truer statement been made about how Harry views and utilizes veterans. He literally told the people on stage, stay there for me, not with me. Then he gave a rambling, though fairly decent speech. One woman in a red dress with a prosthetic leg appeared uncomfortable, standing for that long, but of course Harry didn't notice. It was a disgusting display. Medals mean nothing when the horrors of battle come flooding back. Harry is no veteran. He's just an excuse for the royal family to seem and look relevant. And boy, did they miscalculate on that account. This isn't the first time he's skipped out on veterans. Remember that one time that he went to promote his wife at the Lion King premiere? Let's not forget. And then there was Meghan walking ahead of veterans in a Spongebob shorts during that mini parade or whatever it was. Crazy. How he knew thousands of people felt that he didn't deserve the award. He wasn't about to risk being dressed down by real heroes. I'm angry that he was allowed to purchase the Pat Tillman Award, thereby denying it to someone who truly deserved it. Then he gets up on stage, having ensured there were veterans there to prop him up. He demanded that they stay on stage for him multiple times. If that wasn't enough, they interrupted and rudely disturbed the awards by getting up and leaving before it was over. I hope that this goes viral and he finally learns that he's not the most important person in the world. The world doesn't revolve around him, and he's not a legitimate representative for US veterans, or any other veterans. The purchasing of awards seems endemic in the charity sector, and I'm disgusted with all of them. I do hope that veterans start to distance themselves from the Harkles. Maybe it's time that all countries follow Germany's lead and pull away from the Invictus Games. Personally, I think if Harry had been alone in another location, he would have greeted the veterans. I don't think he has the social hang-ups that Meghan has. He has the urbanity of the absolute upper crust that enables them to speak with anyone. No one is beneath him because everyone is beneath him. If there had been a crisis meeting about his receiving the award, I'm a thousand percent certain that some PR exec would have mentioned the group of veterans in attendance and suggested a round of photos with them. I think he was hustled out of there by his wife and the archwell lackeys. I'd prefer more corroboration, but I don't see why ESPN would tell Harry about a group of vets in the audience. Even if they didn't, it's customary for speakers to ask anyone in the audience to stand and be recognised at certain events. If Harry's handlers had any sense, they'd have had him ask any veterans or current military in the audience to stand and request a round of applause for those serving or who've served our country. Agreed, and even if ESPN had told Harry about the vets, I doubt he'd have walked over to talk with them as he would have had to leave his little protective bubble. Harry's supposed to have people working on his behalf. His team should have set it up and made arrangements for a quick meet and greet. It's obvious that whoever's supposed to handle this stuff could care less about optics or what's right from wrong. Harry's responsible for getting the right people in spots to help him. He has it overseas with Beth Hilivgi, but no one here. She's hired PR types to do her bidding and promote her. No one's acting as a personal secretary to either. I'm guessing that Harry planned a very tight in and out surrounded by people he knew personally. The three veterans representing Invictus or the Williams family were known variables. Harry stayed prissily within his buffer of human shields. For one thing, he couldn't control everyone, including highly decorated soldiers being anywhere near a Medal of Honor recipient would have only made Harry look shabby. Including highly decorated soldiers being anywhere near a Medal of Honor recipient would have only made Harry look shabby.